Hey guys, it's Cameron from Anime Chat Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Yu-Gi-Oh! Boy, is this going to be a nostalgia trip for you guys. I hope you enjoy. Did you like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon growing up? A lot of these popular shows based on the card games were used to promote those card games, but they also became happy memories for many now adults. Just a quick message before I begin, if you don't like what I have to say during the review, please leave a comment below and I'll happily discuss it. And of course, if you appreciate what I have to say, please leave a like and how about subscribing, it's free. Come on, what do you have to lose? Yugi is a young boy whose grandfather runs a duelist card shop. Despite being bullied in school, Yugi has gathered a circle of close friends. One day, his grandpa gifts him the Millennium Puzzle, a mysterious artifact from ancient Egypt. After solving the puzzle, Yugi releases the King of Games, a pharaoh who then resides in Yugi's body until he needs help. It's important to note that the English dub episodes are extremely edited and different from the original version. One of the main changes was the addition of the Shadow Realm to the dub. This was created to keep the show from being too dark for younger viewers, but was also there to allow for characters to be brought back from the realm rather than just being killed off. Physical violence and weapons were also removed from the dub, which sometimes resulted in completely changing the plot. Although this did make for some ridiculous scenes where characters were pointing finger guns at each other rather than real weapons. This is a great anime to watch with a group of friends if you're looking for something to do. It's an entertaining show with some crazy dialogue and an interesting plot. The plot of Yu-Gi-Oh! is a unique one and keeps you interested for a long time. The pacing also feels alright, opening the story with Yugi teaching his friends how to duel at school. After Yugi summons the pharaoh from the Millennium Puzzle, Seto Kaiba approaches his grandfather and threatens him. Yugi defeats Kaiba in a duel, getting him noticed by the creator of the Duel Monsters card game. Yugi's grandfather is then kidnapped, forcing him and his friends to enter a tournament to rescue him. The sub and the dub names will both be included for this because some of the dub names were drastically changed to westernize the anime. Yugi Moto is our main protagonist with the insane spiky hair who is gifted the Millennium Puzzle. He gains confidence as the season progresses and befriends the pharaoh that appears when he solved the puzzle. Yami Yugi is the king of games Yugi frees when he solves the Millennium Puzzle. He stays in Yugi's body and takes over it when he needs help. Other characters don't seem to notice this change despite Yugi becoming much taller and having a deeper voice than Yugi. Sugoroku Moto is Yugi's grandfather. He's the one who owns the card shop and he also helps train Joey Wheeler. He's also used by most of the antagonists just to be kidnapped to get Yugi to do something. Seto Kaiba is the CEO of Kaiba Corporation. This company designs technology to be used while dueling. He comes across as cold and arrogant and develops a rivalry with Yugi. Junichi or Joey Wheeler is Yugi's best friend. He's new to Duel Monsters but aims to get better. In the original Japanese version, he spoke very rudely to others. However, in the dub, he has a Brooklyn accent for some reason. Mizaki Anzu, or Taya Gardner, is one of Yugi's other good friends. She acts as a cheerleader type character when her friends are dueling. Hiroto Honda, or Tristan Taylor, another one of Yugi's friends who travels with them, is actually one of Yugi's old bullies. But they're cool now, and you know, great friends because the power of friendship and whatnot. He also acts as a cheerleader character though, just like Taya. The anime is definitely unique and recognisable with that 90s feel for its characters. The animation is alright, but there's not really too much to say about it, and it's just not that remarkable. Much of the soundtrack is frequently recycled. There's nothing that really stands out here except for the opening. And we all know that one line in the opening that's really popular and rather catchy. It's time to do 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 there's a lot of fun characters, entertaining dialogue and scenes, and interesting plot points in this anime. It's also neat to go back and compare the sub and the dub versions to see what changes and how it impacts the show. The animation, however, is just okay. Plus the soundtrack isn't super interesting either. The dub also cuts scenes out that impact characters and plot development in the original show because they were too violent for children. With all that said, I'll be giving the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! a B. This is an entertaining anime to watch and I would definitely recommend you watch it. Nostalgia does play a big point in this, in making it so much more enjoyable than it probably should be. But let's be honest, re-watching it, none of the rules ever mattered and it's all just for fun. Thanks for watching the video guys, I do hope you enjoyed it and I would be honoured if you liked our video and subscribed to our channel as it really helps us out. And hopefully we see you all again in the next video. See ya!